the single most important ingredient to recovery, the pillar of recovery is hope. Hope is what keeps you going. Hope is what drives you to get up and face the next day. I like this picture here at the waterfront. The sled, that'd be a nice fly, nice fun. Going home, there's nothing negative there, it's all hope. Often when a person has a mental illness, communication is difficult. And we recognize that people don't just get well. There's stages to the recoveries. Photo Voice has played a significant role in helping our staff understand the 10 principles of recovery. They educate us every time they take a picture. When we were able to bring those pictures back and share with staff, I think that it made a difference in the way that we felt about our jobs. It gave us more job satisfaction and the patient a better experience. Participants in the group want to be seen for who they are and what they can be, not their illness or the label that's been attached to them. What I see it as, you know, through education and through uh, proper messaging and stuff to the public, that, uh, you know, we can be the stigma of mental illness. That's somebody's mom, that's somebody's dad, that's somebody's brother. That's not somebody that we need to fear or judge. There are so many preconceived notions about mental illness, many of which are negative. If we can begin to see those positive, unique aspects, then we can start to combat stigma. When we brought the General Hospital and the Northeast Mental Health Centre together as one organization, there was a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of ignorance around what mental health was. Photo Voice has actually been a bridge to help bring that culture together, to reduce stigma internally so we can express that and behave that way in an external direction with our community. So Photo Voice has uh, actually brought us together as a family here as North Bay Regional Health Centre. We need to change the way mental health is viewed in our community. It's mental wellness, and we need to work together to make sure that our patients receive the support that they need to get well. The other thing that you guys mentioned during the first group was your belief and your conviction that that was empowering. And so if you guys want to go to a church, there's a few of them coming up. The photographs amplify the patient's voice. They are a way in which the patient points and shoots a powerful message about what is important to them and what empowers them. true friend is always or she is always true to you. Peer support brings us together and stronger, stronger as you go on. When you come into a hospital and you're broken, you're in pieces. So as a peer support worker, we can understand that. So we can see the people for who they are, not as a symptom or an illness. When I first came to visit, I uh, noticed that uh, some of the young men carry sickness, mental sickness. And when we search out that, that problem, we use our, what we call the medicine wheel approach. Our Aboriginal population have to deal with the added discrimination of, of culture and uh, I feel for them because our patients are struggling already with the title of mental illness. We're all people, 
We all experience struggles in our lives. And even though First Nations people have differences, we're just the same. Nobody should be defined by an illness. We need to remain person-centered and not illness-centered. You know, a lot of these people are out in the community now. And it's because we've had people listen to them, understand what they felt their needs were, gave them the tools, and showed them how to use them. And our patients are out there using them. And they're living quality of life. It's essential for our team to recognize that it's very important for our patients to remain hopeful. And so the approach has to be positive. It has to be focused on giving our patients the tools that they need in order to succeed. Photo Voice is a terrific opportunity for our patients to express themselves creatively. At the end of the day, at some point in time, we as a society have to show that we care. We're not going to save everybody, but when we make an effort, we show that we care, we're going to make connections, and we're going to give people that chance. There, do you want to put it over here on this piece? And I'll take, let's save that there. There's another piece, not so much skin. Not so much peel. When you start to care for your loved one, the elderly patient, one of the most important things is gentle care. What do they want? How can we promote the uh, physiological and psychological comfort? Our patients are our greatest teachers. They teach us about love and fortitude and determination and grace under fire. We can learn that positive change is possible. There are areas that we can still connect with. There is joy that we can evoke from interactions with them. I believe certainly that we, that we see that connection between family and, and patients. So their, their role in visiting and assisting us with their care and informing us about who the person was and how they've changed and how they are now is extremely important to help us care for them as well. I don't know how many times I'm meeting someone for the first time and that's one of the first questions I ask is, so what are your strengths? What are some of the things you're good at? And a lot of times they can't tell me one. A person's strength can be a big part of their recovery and treatment plan. So when we talk about um, goals and things that we want the patients to work towards and what they want to work towards, Strength-based means acknowledging and appreciating and placing value on what people bring to the table. When the patient is able to tell us, this is what helps me, from a facilitator perspective and a clinician perspective, we can bring that back to the team and say, these are the things that he or she has identified as important to them, and this is what they would like to incorporate into their recovery. They loved being in the community, loved interacting with others. This really helped them with their socialization skills and it helped them build on community integration. When I started it, I had my own theme in mind. These pictures, all I had to do was find them. So for me, my goal was to find the pictures, the right pictures, and I felt good about that. I attained my goal. Photo Voice is an award-winning program. It's been recognized nationally by the Mental Health Commission of Canada 
and by Accreditation Canada and at the provincial level by the Ontario Hospital Association as best practice in patient experience. The biggest reward for us as an organization is how we've seen it help our patients. And that's why staff at the North Regional Health Centre put recovery first by partnering with our patients and their families so that we can help them lead a meaningful and satisfying life.